der Krieg ist verloren. Alles ist verloren. Now, a few hours before Funny Mustache Man decided to play Russian roulette with a magfed in order to not be captured by the Russians, he sat down with his personal secretary, Gertrude Junga, and finalized his will. Um, the actual will is boring and in German and wasn't carried out because why would you honor the will of Hitler? Um, I, however, have here a fake Hitler's will uh, that was produced in order to get you to buy more war bonds. And uh, it has some jokes in it that uh, hold up to this day. Uh, surprise, surprise. Uh, history nerds are telling jokes that are stuck in the past. But uh, here we go. I'm going to try and not do the entire thing in a German accent, but only use it when appropriate. Um, it's, I mean, it's pretty good, but there are some things where I, I feel like the translation to me reading it in modern time doesn't fully work. But let's go. The Last Will and Testament of Adolf Hitler. I, Adolf Hitler, being of unsound mind and misery, and considering the possibility of a fatal accident known as assassination, declare this to be my last, you hope, will and testament. To France, I leave all the beautiful mademoiselles in occupied Paris. I was never one for the girls. Whoops! To England, I leave the original manuscript of Mein Kampf, which their RAF spoiled. I had written a different finish, but their flyers got me in the end. To Norway's Quisling, I leave my double cross. He was a piker compared to me when it came to double crossing. To Poland, I leave a 6x10 gold-framed photograph of myself to hang in their public schools to scare the hell out of any kid who might think along Nazi lines. To the Jews, I leave a new holiday which they will celebrate annually. The whole world knows I was kind to them, but they somehow did not seem to appreciate it. To America, I leave Walter Winchell, who always said, to heil with Hitler. I know he'll be very busy on my funeral day, so he'd better not come. Business before pleasure. To Mussolini, I leave my chaplain mustache, which he is to make into a toupee for his ivory dome. He will need a disguise to hide from the Italians who know what a mess he got them into. To Russia, I leave all my frozen assets. I could never warm up to Comrade Stalin or get near enough to Moscow to even smell vodka. To Franklin D. Roosevelt, I leave my apology for interrupting his fishing. But he got even. His unconditional surrender agreement at Casablanca certainly cooked my goose. To Goebbels und Ribbentrop, I leave 30 million marks. Two dollars. To buy a gift for my mother and father who are getting married the day I die. To Count Ciano, Son-in-law of Mussolini, I leave the Victoria Cross for bringing down, in one day, 41 bombers and 72 fighters, all Italian. To Japan's Land of the Rising Scum, Hirohito, I leave all my medals, which will help him sink quicker when he goes down in the Pacific. To the German people, I leave all pictures of myself, especially those printed on soft paper, as I know what they will do with them. To Himmler und Göring, I leave the final execution of my will, as they are experienced at executions. To the entire world, I just leave, and they will thank God. My final wish is that I be buried in an asbestos suit as I know where I am going. Signed, Adolf Hitler, alias Adolf Schlickelgruber. 
dated very soon. This was made in 1942, meaning the uh, Mussolini being afraid of the Italian people is uh, is very very true considering how he met his end. Uh, I love the hyperinflation joke of the uh, 30 million marks. Oh, by the way, every time I do this, it's because it was in brackets and quotes. It was because it was quoted. I tried to read it exactly as it was written. So uh, 30 million marks, parentheses, $2 for the hyperinflation. Uh, it, it's pretty good. Oh, and of course, we can't end without a, a close-up of the front. 10% of your pay to war bonds, every paycheck. At least, at least 10%. Right in der Fuhrer's face. Quick addendum to the whole Mussolini being afraid of the Italian people thing. He was killed by Italian partisans two days before, you know, Hitler did this.